Welcome to William & Mary Law School's Veterans Benefits Clinic channel. The videos on this channel are made by law school students and professors working in the Veterans Benefits Clinic at William & Mary Law School in Williamsburg, Virginia. This channel is not affiliated with the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. The information provided in these videos should not be considered legal advice applicable to your specific situation. The purpose of these videos is to give you general information about the veterans' benefits process and common sense suggestions on working within the VA to seek compensation. For more information about the Veterans Benefits Clinic, please visit our website at law.wm.edu slash veterans. Hello, my name is Mimi and I will be introducing you to the seventh video in a series of videos that are designed to provide helpful information about the Veterans Affairs Claims Process. The videos are made in conjunction with the Veterans Benefits Clinic at the William & Mary School of Law and are not affiliated with the United States Department of Veterans Affairs. The purpose of this video is to provide a brief summary of how the VA assigns a compensation level to a veteran's claim for disability benefits. After determining that a veteran is eligible and has a current disability connected to an in-service event, the VA must determine how much money the veteran is entitled to as a result of his disability. To make this determination, the VA looks to what is called a rating schedule. The VA looks up a disability on this document, which provides a corresponding percentage. The percentage assigned by the VA represents how much, on average, a given disability affects the average veteran's capacity to earn income. The more debilitating the disability, the higher the percentage. In rating a disability, the VA uses a 0 to 100 percent scale. A rating of 0 percent means that the VA acknowledges the veteran suffers a disability, but does not believe the disability is severe enough to affect the average veteran's ability to earn income. It is important to remember that while a rating of 0% does not receive a monthly monetary compensation, it makes the veteran service connected for that disability and may be important for other veteran benefits, such as health care. A rating of 100% means the VA recognizes three things about a veteran's disability. First, it has a maximum rating of 100%. Second, it is manifested in its most severe form in this veteran. And third, it has a significant effect on the veteran's capacity to earn income. It is important to note that not all disabilities can rate as high as 100%. Some, even in their most severe form, are only rated 10%. If you are making a claim that includes more than one disability, then the VA will look up each disability separately on the rating schedule. However, contrary to what you might expect, the VA does not add up all percentages to reach a veteran's total percentage rating. Once the VA has assigned a rating to all of a veteran's disabilities, it must combine those disabilities in what is called a combined rating, also a 0 to 100 percent number. The process of creating the combined rating is not simply done by adding up ratings, but is according to a special table called the Combined Ratings Table. The VA follows this combined rating table to arrive at a final disability rating, which determines the level of compensation that a veteran receives. A few examples of combined ratings. A veteran has three disabilities rated 20, 10, and 10 percent. Under the combined ratings table, his combined rating is 40 percent. A veteran has two disabilities rated 70 and 80 percent. Under the same combined ratings table, her disability is rated at 90 percent. It is more difficult to increase a veteran's overall disability percentage the higher the disability is. For instance, it is easier for a small increase in one of a veteran's disabilities to push the veteran from an overall rating of 20% to 30%. It is much harder for a veteran to move from 80% to 90% or 90% to 100% under the combined ratings table. It requires many more increases in the individual percentages to increase the overall rating. The VA uses a compensation benefits rate table to determine the compensation a veteran will receive for their final disability rating. The compensation benefits rate table adjusts compensation depending on the number of dependents in a veteran's household, including children, a spouse, and parents. Remember, a veteran can appeal if he or she doesn't believe either an individual disability rating or the combined rating is high enough or if the disability gets worse over time. This concludes the introduction to the Veterans Benefits Administration and how a claim travels through the VA system.
For more information, check out both the Department of Veterans Affairs website at www.va.gov and the William & Mary Veterans Benefits Clinic website at the address listed on the slide. I also encourage you to watch the next video in this series. Thanks for watching and have a good day.